Thune. Please welcome out to the I'm Somewhere Program, New York Times bestselling novelist, um, syndicated uh, sports and political columnist, and TV star, my old friend, Mike Lupica, who is traveling somewhere out there in America on his book tour, uh, humping, the, well, not humping, but the, promoting uh, The Bad Boy, which is already on the New York Times. That's so let's, good morning, Mr. Lubica. Good morning, Mr. Imus. Where are you? I'm in Detroit on my way home uh, later this morning. You know, I played one of your favorite songs, Eagles. I heard the Party intro. tonight. I heard the intro. Hey, remember that back in the 80s? No. We were all out there looking for starless to buy houses. I was just um, <laughs> I was just trying to make my way in this world, Don. I was trying to write a newspaper column and, and try to walk down the straight and narrow, and, and that's my story, and by God, I'm sticking to it. You know, I just thought, I just would have been back in the 80s, would have been a Fox News then. I, I, <laughs> oh, man, I wouldn't have any money. <laughs> no, you would have been, you would have been just... Looking, you're standing on Sixth Avenue, looking at the lights of that studio, just saying, "Come on down here, girls," and so we can be first in line when <laughs> Tiffany opens this morning. I don't know. I'd have given somebody a house in the Hamptons, and one in Greenwich, and one. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway, what color um, BMW do you want? <laughs> so I read your column about Tiger Woods here, and the, uh, I didn't talk to you about this before, but uh, apparently he gave some sort of interview on the. On ESPN and the Golf Channel, uh, tell me about that. Well, he had he gave five minute interviews to both Kelly Tillman of the Golf Channel and Tom Rinaldi of ESPN, and I, I thought both of them did a good job considering the fact that they basically were doing this like with a cab with the meter running, and he pretty oh. much had the same version of things that we heard when he gave that 13 minute statement. Back in February, I just think he, he, I guess he's going to have one more big press conference at the Masters. And then I, I've just believed for a while that he, he just ought to shut up and play golf and, and let people make up their own minds about this because nobody's ever going to find out as much stuff as they want to. He clearly is never going to tell what led up to the accident outside his house on Thanksgiving night. Well, I think we, I think we all, everybody knows, don't they? Well, anybody who's married knows. <laughs> Come on. Hello. Well, hello. Mike. So I, I, I don't think there's much more for him to be gained by this these constant apologies. Now we're going to see. I don't think he's going to get heckled much at Augusta. I, that's a, no, of course not. All, all the guys at Augusta all want to have uh, sex with porn actresses themselves. <laughs> so why? They probably they probably they probably been watching the porn the porn babes that the, 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 the Tigers having sex with. So. No, they're going to be they'll be running around there, to, particularly at Augusta, carrying him on their shoulders. No, he's going to cheer to boo. No, of course he's not going to get booed. Yeah, when he's one of the things he said in the in the interviews uh, last Sunday night was, "Well, I hope a few people are going to applaud." Uh, come on, he knows why he's going. They're going to give him a great big hug when when uh, when he's there, and and, and I mean, he could win the golf tournament. If you think about it, he's you in the '80s or somebody, you know. <laughs> Well, can I ask you a question? Just Maybe not you. But before we move on, okay? Somebody we know. And we are going to move on. <laughs> yes, we Why are. is it always me? I don't know. I, well, I don't I'm know. I'm sorry. Were you an astronaut in the 1980s? <laughs> <laughs> well, we know I have a somewhat checkered past. No, no. Were you, were you on a mercy mission to the Congo in those days? <laughs> it's 19 to the hour. Here on the Ibis and program, we're talking with uh, Mike Lupica about Bat Boy, which has been drawing, by the way. He goes, uh, Lupica goes and speaks at schools. And tell me about that. Looking. Well, usually when I'm on a tour like this, um, I do a school in the afternoon and then I, a bookstore or a library at night. And they'll bring 300 Kind of kids. what I used to do in the 80s. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, honey. What, what's your name, Deidre? What a nice lunchbox. Have you ever wanted to ride around in private planes? Uh, come on there. Okay. We got off point there, didn't we? Yeah. No, you didn't, actually. No, 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 I do a school appearance during the day, and then we do a bookstore at night, and these bookstore appearances, um, there'll be 200 and 250 people, it's, and, and kids wow. and parents, and it's been, 
Um, uh, this week has been Boston and Chicago and Milwaukee, and last night outside of Detroit. It's it's really as as the books continue to roll out, the, the, these appearances are real, and the, to to see kids bringing you like some some copy of Travel Team that's practically falling apart now that they wanted to have signed is it's it's pretty cool. It is 18 till they are. We're talking with Mike Lupica, who's talking about his book, Bat Boy, that he's out uh, humping around the country on a big old book tour.